I'd take Mildred up to D.C. and get married. Are you sure about that? By the power vested in me by the District of Columbia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. We have Ruth Nega. You play uh, Mildred Loving. I do. In Loving. I do. Great film. How did you first hear about it? Was it through the documentary or through learning about the part? Well, it's quite funny now because I because I've spent so much time with this story. I, it's like a chicken and egg. I'm not really sure, but I I do remember sort of um, being you know I have an interest in history, especially American history and um, uh, the racial history of this this country because it's so fascinating and complex. And um, so I I. I I was interested in this. Uh, I was looking up something about the one drop rule, that ridiculous kind of convoluted mm -hmm. like thing. That's just ridiculous and very corrosive. Um, and I'd I'd looked up, and then I I happened upon Mildred Loving's obituary, um, which I know that Nancy Bursky, who did the HBO documentary called The Loving Story, that's how she found out about this couple. Mildred Loving died in two thousand and eight, and the obituary was quite slim but contained the mind-boggling fact that she changed the herself and richard changed the constitution of the united states right just that little small thing small smidgen um and i was i thought am i am i unique and not knowing about this couple and i sadly realized and found out that i wasn't and so i just couldn't believe it so that was kind of in my orbit right and then a couple of years later Francine Mazur, amazing casting director who has really is responsible for me coming into contact with Jeff and Sarah because she put my name forward. I think that's great that she put your name forward because you did such a great job in this role. It was very oh, believable. Thank you. But a question I do have for you because you did mention your fascination with American mm -hmm. history and with racial and implicitly uh, what was it I know you've said before that you don't like to use the word color blindness but I think it was um, yeah color uh, was it, it was, I, uh, I just it's a pe it's a pe not color blind but color appreciative what is oh what, yeah. yeah so what do you mean by that if you can just let us know that um I I well first of all I when people that term color blind it kind of baffles me because I think well what's so wrong about my color that you don't want to see it <laughs> It's just it doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. and I know I understand people use it in a in a in a way that is. Most people use it in a way that they're kind of mean well, but I think you know, words are powerful. And the semantics, of that. We need to be more mindful of how we use words because they are quite powerful things, you know. Um, and being there's a reason why people didn't want slaves to be able to read and write. You know, words are words are. You know, they're mightier than the sword. Um, pen, the pen is mightier. You know, but so I think that when you say colorblind, I think that you're saying you're attaching a negative connotation to color. And I don't really see that, how that helps a conversation. Um, and I love the term color appreciative because it's so formal and elegant. Right. But um, yeah, I just think that we need to be sort of more mindful about how we use our language. And this question for you is, we hear in the film a lot, you should have been more aware, you should have known better. If you were to sure, give we advice, should know better. right, if a hundred years from now, like as a collective society, what would something think, would you want to say that we should have known better about? I think it's always the same thing. I think that silence is something that we have an option to, we all have a voice. We all do. Even though you think it might be, it might not be heard or it's for quite quiet, don't assume anything. Speak. Speak your speech. Speak your, bear witness to, to, to what's going on. Um, speak up. Um, be brave. Um, because we all have a responsibility to ourselves and each other and our future generations. You know, there is this thing, legacy. We have a legacy. And we are all responsible. And you know, and when you when you feel a responsibility, you feel like you're a part of this world, and it's a good thing right. that you feel like you make a difference. And we do, you do. You may not think you do, but you do. And I really feel that this film will make a huge difference for I a hope lot so. of audiences. Thank you so I much. I hope so. I hope people. I hope people are proud. You know, America should be super proud of this couple. 
The world should be. I am. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you.